let's have a look at geometrical isomerism. Geometrical isomerism is sometimes called cis-trans isomerism because we can use cis or trans to describe the difference between the two isomers. Take, for example, 1,2-dichloroethene. We can draw the molecule like this or like this, and because the carbon-carbon double bond can't rotate, these are two separate molecules. We can't go from one to the other without breaking bonds. On the left-hand molecule, the chlorines are on the same side of the double bond. So we call this the cis isomer. On the right-hand side, the chlorines are on the opposite side, so we call it the trans isomer. Remember, trans means across. But not all examples are straightforward like this. Let's have a look at a slightly more difficult molecule. So let's take an alkene with a carbon-carbon double bond and put chlorine, bromine, fluorine, and hydrogen atoms onto it and try and work out what type of isomer we have. We can't easily see if it's cis or trans because they're all different groups. So we have to use a kahn ingold prelog system of prioritizing using atomic numbers. So chlorine 17, bromine 35, fluorine's 9, hydrogen's 1. Bromine 35 is higher than chlorine 17. And fluorine 9 is higher than the hydrogen, which is 1. So the higher priority groups are on opposite sides, so we call it the E isomer. Remember, E for enemies. So let's have a go at drawing the other isomer, which we call the Z isomer. This time the bromine needs to go at the top and the chlorine at the bottom. And then on the other side, fluorine at the top, hydrogen on the bottom. And notice our priority groups of bromine and fluorine are now on the same side, so we call that the Z isomer. And you always use the atomic number to work out the priority group. But sometimes we can't settle it when we get to the first atom. So have a look at this as a, a more complicated example. We're going to do an alkene. And to each of the carbons on the double bond, we're going to attach more carbon atoms with a methyl group there. Let's stick an ethyl group over there. And we'll have a carbonyl group and a hydroxymethyl group and work our way out. So start from the carbons directly bonded to the double bond carbons. They're all, they're all carbon atoms. They all have the same atomic number of six. So we've not settled it. We don't know which ones are our priority. The top left, you've got OHH. Oxygen has an atomic number of eight. Hydrogen's one. So list them in order of their atomic number, OHH. And on the bottom, you've got oxygen bonded and hydrogen bonded. And the oxygen's doubly bonded, so we list it twice. So that would be OOH bonded to the carbon. And that would take priority because we get a higher atomic number group earlier in our list. As soon as you get to that higher atomic number group, you stop and that's your priority. Try the right, top right-hand side. They're all three hydrogens with an atomic number of one, so it's HHH. Compare that to the bottom right, which is CHH611. And we have a priority group earlier in the list with a carbon there, which has an atomic number of six. So that our priority is on the bottom, which makes this the Z isomer, because they're on the same side of that carbon-carbon double bond. Let's have a look at another complicated example. As long as you follow the rules carefully, you'll always be able to work out E and Z isomers E, remember, is on the opposite side of the double bond. Z is on the same side. And all you do is you work your way out, starting from the first atom and then looking at the atoms those are bonded to and so on, and trying to work out which ones have the higher atomic number. And as soon as you get to something with a higher atomic number, that's your stopping point and you've found your priority group. Circle the priority groups and then you can work out if they're on the same or on opposite sides. So have a look at this monster of a molecule, a nice complicated example. So we start from those inside carbons again. And of course, they all have the same atomic number because they're all carbon. They all have six, so we've not solved it yet. And then we start working our way out. So on the top right, you've got carbon and two hydrogens, 611. So list them in order of atomic number is CHH. Bottom right, you've got CCH, 661. So we have our priority group earlier in the list, so the bottom one is our priority on the right-hand side. Then move over to the left-hand side of the molecule. Top left, you've got CHH bonded to that carbon, 611. List them in order of atomic number. Bottom left, CHH. So it's exactly the same, CHH. We've not solved it. So we then have to move even further out into our molecule. What's bonded to that carbon? 
On the bottom, we have an oxygen and two hydrogens, OHH. Oxygen has an atomic number of eight, so it's OHH. On the top left, we have CHH with a carbon, which is an atomic number of six, CHH. And we've got a difference here, so we can solve it. Carbon has an atomic number of six, oxygen eight, so the bottom one is a priority, putting the groups on the same side, which means we've got the Z isomer.